I want the church to, to be more forthright. That's his. That's his. He wore it for 59 years. What does it mean to have this? Well, it's a piece of him. It just, I knew this was bouncing off his chest for 59 years, so it um, makes me feel close to him. Pictures show Father Thomas Sullivan wearing the crucifix. It is among the artifacts Graham has unearthed in pursuit of the truth about his past. He found the log of his stay at the Foundling Hospital after his mother took him and ran away. Detectives Graham Paid obtained the transcript of the one-sided divorce trial that severed Jim from his mother at a young age, putting him in the custody of a man Graham says had almost no time or affection for him. I think all those years he was taking it out on me uh, because I had to live with him. The accumulated evidence is a story, and Graham wanted it told. The first thing that happened is Jim Graham called me. Michael Resendiz is an investigative reporter for the Boston Globe. He works for the newspaper's award-winning Spotlight Unit. The Boston priests molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. Graham had watched the movie Spotlight about the paper's investigation into the priest's sex abuse scandal. Graham wanted Resendiz to write about his family secret. I felt it was very unlikely. Uh, I often tell people when they call me with stories that I generally don't write stories about unfortunate things that have happened to individuals. Then, Resendiz heard from Vincent Doyle. Every day that Pope Francis does not mention this issue, he unwittingly and indirectly allows the silence to continue. Doyle is from Ireland. He says he too is the child of a priest, an Irish priest, and shared with us some pictures. And Doyle has spoken to Pope Francis about the issue of the children of Catholic priests worldwide. Doyle says over 13,000 have contacted a website he started, Coping International, dedicated to the sons and daughters of Catholic clergy. Most of the site's web traffic is from Ireland, the UK, and the US. The American Catholic Church have thus far failed to live up to the responsibility in terms of Pope Francis' zero tolerance approach to abuse. I think they're afraid to look because if they open this up, there could be a huge amount of people coming forward. The Irish Catholic Church tackled the problem head on. Just last year, its bishops developed a protocol and published it for all to see. It says when Irish priests father children, the needs of the child need to be given first consideration and that those priests need to live up to their personal, legal, moral, and financial responsibilities for that child. If they do not care for these children, they're deliberately and knowingly facilitating emotional and psychological neglect of thousands of people. And in 2012, the Archdiocese of Los Angeles announced the resignation of Bishop Gabino Zavala after it was disclosed that he is the father of two teenage children. All of this and more was first reported by Resendiz back in August in a series of stories titled, Father, My Father. Resendiz reporting fueled by the evidence dug up by Jim Graham. You know, I'm a document guy and Jim had some extraordinary uh, material. He could not prove <clears throat> without uh, a doubt that Father Sullivan was in fact his father, but the, the documents that he gathered uh, amounted to an overwhelming uh, treasure trove of circumstantial evidence that suggested so very strongly that Father Sullivan was his father.